Hey everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a while. Back in March, my daughter and I started making masks to donate. We did that for about six weeks, or I was pretty much only sewing masks, and we donated over 600, which was really awesome, but I was pretty burnt out, so I took some time off just to sew what I wanted when I wanted to, but now I am back and I would like to make videos for you all again. I uh, was asked to show how I used a flexible ruler to fit my body for a shorts pattern. So that is what I'm going to do today. Um, I've had six kids, so I'm still, I have all the baby weight from my last one and it's all in my midsection. So I was having a really hard time getting any shorts to fit. None of my shorts that I made last year fit. Um, none of my store-bought shorts really fit. And I was having a hard time getting um, the new ones to fit, even though it was to my measurements. Um, I have to make a few adjustments. I'm tall and like I said, I carry all in my belly. So I did a full belly adjustment and a full booty adjustment as well as a low butt adjustment. Um, but I was still getting wrinkles in the back and I had read about using aluminum foil to take the shape of your midsection, your crotch curve, and compare that to the pattern and use that to shape the pattern to fit your body. Um, the aluminum foil didn't work very well, so I picked up a flexible ruler. As you can see, it holds its shape pretty well, and I used that. So this video, I'm going to show you how I use that to shape, get the shape of my body, compare it to the pattern, and then cut the pattern to fit my shape. I'm not going to go over the other adjustments I did. Um, those are more basic. I will link a tutorial from the designer of the shorts pattern I used. I'm using the Irish shorts from Sonia Estep Designs, and she has a fitting tutorial on her blog with some more basic fit adjustments and what they look like and how to do them. So I will link that in the description. Um, I'll link the ruler in the description as well as the pattern. And I will, for this video, just show you how I used the flexible ruler to get a better fit on my shorts. And hopefully it helps you guys too. Okay, so you're gonna want tight fitting bottoms or no bottoms, but I'm not gonna do that to you. So I have some peg legs and yoga knit here from So So English. So you get to see my lovely mom shape in all its glory. I'm gonna take a wonder clip and clip it on. I need a little more room in the booty on my ruler. So I put mine's at about the 14 inch um, mark. This is going to be centered in your crotch. So you have an even amount in the front in the back and you're just gonna take it make sure that wonder clip is in the second center and just fit it to your shape and then step out of it and then you can see your shape now I'm gonna take this and I am going to compare it to the pattern so that we can see what my shape looks like compared to the pattern shape. Okay, so I have my shorts pattern here. I have most of it covered out of the respect for the designer. And I'm just showing you here the crotch curve. I have the seam overlap, the seam allowance. And now I'm going to take my ruler that I used to measure my crotch shape. Take that. And go ahead and match up my clip right where the seams line up. So you can see that my shape is quite a bit different than the average shape right now because I carry so much of my weight in my middle. So, and you can do this a couple times just to make sure you're getting an average accurate shape. So I'm just gonna kind of mark that and I'll take my ruler again, making sure my clip's in the center it to my body. Okay, put it on, clip on the seam allowance, trace that. Um, you can use a different color, might be handy. I'll do my last one in another color. Matching up your clips. Alright, so you can see though that the shape, even though they're a little bit different because it's not an exact science, you can see generally I'm going to need a lot scooped out back here and a lot scooped out in the front. 
Um, it's always good to start small, making your adjustments. Um, you know, I, for the first time, I kind of just went in a little bit and blended, and I ended up needing almost all of the front scooped out, as well as some of the back scooped out. So I am going to get my current pattern piece so I can show you how my current piece looks compared to my shape. So you can get an idea of how much I ended up scooping out to fit me. The nice thing about this adjustment is you can always kind of baste these lines in on your muslin to kind of see where you're at and then always take a little more off each time so you don't have to do it all right in the first step. Okay, so I have my pattern pieces here. They're gonna look a little bit different because mine also have a full booty and full belly, um, which I did not do on the ones I was just using to show. So this is my shape, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the ruler, put it on where the seams overlap, and you can see that I scooped out almost all of the back and quite a bit of the front too. I did not have to scoop out all of the front to get the fit that I needed. Um, but just adding all that extra room made a big difference in the fit for me. I'm gonna go ahead and include some before and after pictures of the fit. Now, because I took out so much in the crotch curve, I ended up adding width to the outer thigh on both pieces. So that may be something to consider. Um, you could see in some of my fit pictures that I kind of have saddlebags and you could see the fabric was just tight over in that area. And so adding some to the outer thighs helped fix that issue. And now I have a pair of nice fitting shorts. Okay, so that is how I use a flexible ruler to measure my shape and compare it and fit to a pattern. Um, I hope you find it helpful. Like I said, I will link the pattern, the ruler, and I will link the um, tutorial on the Sony Estep Designs blog with some of your basic fit adjustments. It has great pictures and explanations on how to do them. So that's also a helpful resource. Um, join me next week. I'm going to be doing a fabric unboxing. I have a pretty large box coming I think Monday from So So English. It's from their last two stockings. I ordered tons of fabric to make Irish shorts now that I nailed my fit. So I can do a lot of Ponte and some French terry denim. Um, lots of good stuff coming so I will do an unboxing video for that and then I'm hopefully going to do a So Long for the Irish shorts too. Um, just a So With Me kind of video because I plan on making lots of Irish shorts. So if you want, you can see how I do them and follow along. If you like the videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for joining me.